Good morning, everyone. Good morning, Father. I guess something may have given it away that I was coming in to talk this morning. Uh, I'm here to talk to you about the uh, Catholic Strong Capital Campaign, which we began uh, sometime back in early November of 2017. The campaign's going to run right through till about the first weekend of October. And I want to proudly say that we have already, as a parish, raised a little bit over $230,000 towards our $1.275 million goal. Uh, and the other beautiful thing is, even with our House of Charity, we're coming close to about 80%. So I want to thank each and every one of you who have given to both of those great endeavors uh, to our parish. Thank you for taking your time uh, to meet with me. Uh, just to give you a little bit uh, more information about what Catholic Strong is, this capital campaign, and House of Charity, because sometimes some confusion arises in terms of, you know, how is this different? Uh, how is it similar? All of these questions come up, especially when a uh, capital campaign hasn't been done in over 20 years uh, in the diocese. Usually they're done about every 10 years uh, on a diocesan level. The beautiful thing about the Catholic uh, Strong Capital Campaign is that Bishop Sullivan is going to allow each and every parish to keep 70% of the monies that they raise. So if we hit our goal, we will receive back approximately $890,000 which we're gonna use for capital expenses. Capital expenses, to put it simply, are repairs that are in dire need. Uh, as you know, many of you probably own your own homes. You know that your home does not remain pristine for 30 or 40 years. Uh, it remains so because of what you do for the upkeep of even your own homes. And all of you know the expenses of your own home. And they're not always cheap, right? We're looking to scramble here a little bit there. Now, even though God protects us with his grace, somehow the roof still leaks, right? And uh, walls need to be repaired and things need to be upgraded. And those are the very tangible parts of a capital campaign. Uh, but we're also going to do something a little more innovative in this campaign. We're also going to allot some monies towards ministries, especially evangelization, so that we can bring some of those families back who may be missing for whatever reasons. We pass no judgment. We have to be welcoming and inviting, uh, and hopefully to bring them back. But also towards youth and music ministry and things like this, to make the parish more vibrant, even for those of us who are here every single weekend, and many of you even every day for uh, daily Mass. Now, the confusion arises in terms of what are the differences? So in your pews, one of the, I have two forms for you. Uh, only take one form per family. There's gonna be a form on the right and a different letter on the left of the pew. So if you pass those along to each other, one is gonna look like this going to feel uh, very glossy. That's the one that shows the differences between House of Charity and the Catholic Strong Capital Campaign. To put it simply, House of Charity is much involved in the everyday activities. Uh, we know one of those ministries very well because Deacon Jerry Jablonowski is the director of Vitality. Vitality provides health care services, hospital chaplaincy, and many other things on a day-to-day -day for those who are in some kind of medical need. If you need consultation about maybe putting an elderly parent in a nursing home, uh, Deacon Jerry's group of people help provide those kinds of services. And as you know, our own uh, Father Sanjay was here a, year, a few years ago, is uh, Deacon Jerry's right-hand man. And we have a number of parishioners also have been employed by the diocese in that vitality uh, group. So those kinds of services are day-to-day -day functions. Capital campaigns, again, 
are looking at either building something, repairing something, or putting monies into ministries uh, that need uh, invigorating. Uh, one thing that we want to plan to do, which you will begin to see as early as July or August, uh, will happen in the church. Uh, if you take a good look around you, uh, we still have wallpaper in here. Wallpaper that's close to 40 years old. Uh, let me get a show of hands. Uh, in the last few years, how many of you have put wallpaper up in your homes? One. <laughs> Sorry, Vince. <laughs> so it's not really a thing that's done often, right? And uh, if you take a walk around the church when you have an opportunity, you'll see that it's cracked, ripped, coming apart in a lot of places. When you look at it from a distance, it kind of blends in, you don't really see it. So uh, we're gonna replace the wallpaper and put in beautiful uh, paint. We're gonna try to keep it the same kind of tones so uh, it's not a drastic change. Uh, and that's gonna be done within the church, also in the lobby vestibule and in the sacristy. That's just one small job. So if you look at the other paper, you will see how we broke the monies down on the other sheet. The 892,000. Now, that 892,000, obviously, we can't zero in on prices until contractors come and all the rest. So these are just rough estimates. Obviously, there may be money left over for other things. We are allowed to move money to things that we think are quite important. Uh, one major thing that we want to do is extend the lobby in the vestibule area. What you'll notice here, especially on Sundays after Mass, some people like to stay in the church and pray. And they want the church to be what? Quiet or loud? Quiet, obviously, right? So the problem is that people naturally, when they see their friends, what do they want to do? Talk. So typically, if a church has a large enough vestibule and lobby area, people can gather there. Our lobby area is quite small. So we're thinking about extending it anywhere from seven to 10 feet forward, and even 15 to 20 feet on both the left and right hand sides. So that's gonna be quite a project. But uh, instead of just allowing for people to gather there, it will also give us the opportunity to be able to put up uh, presentations in there, uh, little kind of uh, things in where we could put brochures and books and pamphlets and all the rest. So it, it's going to look pretty amazing. Uh, now, we're quite far away from that because you have to collect monies for that. That kind of job can run anywhere from $150,000 to $250,000. But it will make uh, the church uh, much more accessible and uh, a place for us to gather. So uh, if your aunt is in silent prayer, and you're talking, she doesn't have to yell at you to keep quiet, All right? So I know that kind of happens each and every week. I'm not gonna go over the entire list of what we're gonna do. You have it there in front of you. Again, I ask that you just take one for each family. Uh, if we run out of those, I'll have them posted on the uh, website and on Facebook, and we'll continue to put all of this stuff in the bulletin. Now, we have been meeting with people, myself, Father Alfred, our two deacons, either at the house or we have Aquin dinners or some people have been meeting me in the office. We're gonna to continue to do that, uh, to reach out to as many of you as possible. And we will have an in pew solicitation sometime in late September, early October, because we cannot get to all 4,000 families. It's just impossible, even with the ministry team that we've put together and they are doing tremendous work Right, so uh, I really appreciate it. They're doing it all for volunteer. They're in the offices, they're making phone calls, they're helping Linda keep records. They're also, some of them are gonna help me and uh, Father Al and Deacon Jerry and Deacon Joe make solicitations themselves. So let us continue to pray for one another that we will have generous hearts. And as I always say, listen, everybody's financial situation is different. And we never want anybody to feel bad because they can't give enough or they can't give at all. And my thing is, even your prayers and your presence bring great value to Holy Family. So uh, if someone is in a bad situation and you feel bad and you don't want to admit it, listen, you can talk to me. I understand 
This is not a contract. This is not some obligation that you have to do. We just ask for the best that you can do. And without further ado, I do want to show the video. It's a really nice one that the diocese has put together for us to watch. Hopefully I can get it to work. Last night it didn't work, but we're going to do our best. You and I helped to form a vibrant Catholic community with a rich history of devotion to God. Every day throughout South Jersey, the strength of our Catholic faith is on display in our parishes, schools, and ministries. Through these areas, as well as the sacraments, we celebrate our faith and develop a deeper relationship with Jesus Christ and His Church, which empowers us to become the missionary disciples Pope Francis calls us to be. For more than 300 years, the Catholic faith has been proclaimed throughout South Jersey. For the last 80 years, this has been done under the umbrella of the Diocese of Camden. Now, it is time for this present generation of Catholics to make their mark on the history of the diocese by providing a strong foundation for future generations. Catholic Strong, the campaign for the Catholic community of South Jersey, will raise $50 million to help expand and invigorate our local parishes across the six counties in South Jersey. 70% of the funds that are raised will return to the parishes for their needs, and 30% will fund new diocesan ministries. This is to provide the necessary funds and resources that will bolster and sustain the heart of the church, our parishes. Parishes form us in faith and bring us to the mercy and love of God through sacraments and coming together as a community. Our strong parishes are more than just physical buildings. They are the people of faith that make it a home and loving community. Let us turn now to our right, left, front, and back so we can greet the person to who we were praying with this day at this liturgy. With Catholic strong behind us, the parish is strong, the community is strong, the diocese is strong. So this is a way to reinsure that the parishes are going to not only survive, but thrive for generations to come. Catholic education has always been a key focus of the church's evangelizing mission and offers parents and caregivers an opportunity to have their children grow in a Christ-centered atmosphere. Children can develop their God-given gifts and talents and become faith-filled adults guided by gospel value. This effort will provide schools the necessary funding to focus on a strong central school's office, professional enrichment for leading-edge initiatives, and investing in programs that encourage students. Funds from Catholic Strong will also enable the diocese to meet growing needs not currently supported by traditional funding sources. Give him back! Give him back! That's what we do. It's about the other people, guys. Our activities allow us to live our Christian faith, to see the face of Jesus, and our response to that is the enactment of our faith. Pope Francis, he called to be out there with the people on the peripheries. As a church, as a diocese, as a community, we could expand this ministry uh, to be far-reaching throughout our, our area. It means being a part of the magnitude that is the church and being a disciple of Jesus Christ and then bringing that out to the people around you. It's everything to me. It's the structure that I need to live my life and to find Jesus in everything that I do. Helping those on the peripheries, health care support, and addiction healing programs across southern New Jersey will empower communities, strengthen families, and change the world. This task may seem daunting, but we are one family. We must ensure each parish has the full resources it needs to guide the baptized and reach out to those who are not. The new funds will allow us to promote the vitality of Southern New Jersey Catholic parishes and ministries to continue training strong and faithful Catholic leaders. From our parishes and schools to the social services we provide and the faith we embrace, together we are Catholic strong. Our church family depends on the generosity and commitment of every single one of us to this campaign. 
Know that the majority of monies will ensure the vitality of essential programs and ministries that are presently sponsored by your parish. At the same time, new pastoral endeavors will be developed. Your gift will allow our church to extend its mission into the future for all those who wish to encounter the power of Jesus' message of love and service. Thank you, and God bless you. We are Catholic Strong. I am Catholic Strong. We are Catholic Strong. I, 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 I'm Catholic Strong. We are Catholic Strong. I, I am Catholic Strong. Catholic Strong. Catholic Strong. We are Catholic Strong together. We are Catholic Strong.